Hey everyone, welcome to episode 27 of Scribbles with Jonathan. I'm your host, Jonathan Rector, and this is part 2 of uh, what we did in the previous video. Um, what we're going to do is try to make a practical uh, solution to show you guys, some of you that may have some questions on how to take what we did in the previous video, uh, which is these guys, uh, this quick gesture, and how to turn that into like a final drawing. How do we get there? You know, how, What are the steps that we take or that I take that you guys uh, may get some off of, some information from? How do we take that and actually apply it? Um, so what I figured I would do is uh, just do a quick uh, recap of what we've already learned in previous videos. And that's what the first video was, basically just sum that up. And in the second video, what I'm going to do is I thought to make it a little bit more practical and uh, show you guys how I do it, um, I'm going to show you basically the first stage in what I do in a drawing, which is that gesture and underlying draw, drawing. And I'm going to do about, uh, let's say, three poses. And then from those three poses, what I'm going to do is show you what I would do with those and then take it to a final one where we start throwing the anatomy and maybe some clothing and stuff. I may do one with clothing and the other two anatomy just so you guys can see that. And then, uh, you know, like rendering and finalizing it and all that good stuff. So uh, we're already a minute in, wasting some valuable time. So let's get into it. So I guess this first one we could do um, uh, maybe a guy just kind of like, you know, a classic, you know, maybe surprised look. So again, we'll start with the, the chest. I usually like to start with the chest. Uh, I find, you know, it's one of the bigger masses on the body. And everything pretty much stems from the chest and the hips. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to maybe flare it out a little bit that way. Get a little bit of foreshortening going on in here. And again, uh, all we're doing is we're worrying about the, the bottom shape here of where the abs are going to be. And the chest up here. And, uh, you know, I guess we could start worrying about where the legs are going to go. So we'll always flare a leg out here. I always, you know, like to flare a little bit of stuff out, just give a little more energy to it. And here I'm just going to bring it down here. And we're just going to, I'm going to make sure that this leg is actually hitting the ground. So I'm just going to establish where the leg is going to be. And this one, maybe this could be like a crossbody punch, you know. Uh, so this leg, let me just see. Uh... I guess we could just flare this one out a little bit too. Well, we'll bring it in a little bit closer to the uh, the viewer. So I'm just gonna, I'm not going to bring it in as much as this leg here. Uh, just working some foreshortened shapes here, and uh, we're actually going to make it look like the legs lifting up a little bit there. And so here, now that I know I'm going to do like a crossbody punch, uh, all I'm going to do is just start working in the actual perspective. Again, doing nothing too radically different that we did in the previous stage. We're going to establish where uh, one arm is going to be, circle where the other one's going to be, and uh, I'm just going to carve in where the neck should pop out. And now that I have the neck, I'll just bring the neck out a little bit and probably just toss in his face. And the arm, we'll actually bring it out quite a bit here. This is going to be his uh, elbow. Just going to do a little. Sometimes I like to work in these triangular shapes because it pushes, it shows me where the muscle should be. And uh, the arm doesn't have to travel too far out, and it gives a little bit of uh, perspective and foreshortenment. So I don't know if you guys can see it there a little bit. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to establish the angle of the head here. And this other arm, uh, where should we put that? Maybe, yeah, we'll just put it down here just so you guys can see it here. Now we're just going to have a little bit of the forearm there, and we'll have his like fist sticking out there. So again, it may not be the most energetic pose, <clears throat> and I can already see some of the errors that are already in there. Um, but what we're going to do is all I'm showing is going to, I think because I'm looking at the timer now, what I'll do is I'll do two of these, and then I can show you guys how we bring that one on. So this one's pretty much done for this step. Let's just put it over here. And uh, I guess a uh, female should probably be a little bit more appropriate. That way we can show you know male and female versions, even though they're basically the same. It's just uh, some of the anatomy is a little different. I mean, anatomy and the humans are, are the same, but in females, you know, the hips are a little bit bigger and stuff. So maybe we'll just do a traditional, maybe like a wizard kind of pose for the female. So again, just worrying about where the chest is going to be. And this one, I don't think we'll go too, too crazy with it. Maybe we'll do some drapery as well. Uh, one thing you can get away with, with with doing with the female is you just flare out the hips a little bit. So I'm just going to flare them out. And I'm going to be a little bit more... Uh, giving, I suppose, in the size, the width of the hips here. And again, just establishing where we're going to have the, the abs and how it's going to connect to the actual chest. And uh, we'll just bring her leg in here. 
And maybe she's flying too. She's a wizard after all. Actually, we might be able to get away with... And this is actually that I'm looking at the male one. This is pretty... I was going to say bring it out over this way. Again, we're doing the same type of flaring that we're doing with the legs. And I was hoping I, I didn't do this so I could uh, actually show a little difference between them. But, I mean, for now, we'll see how this goes. Uh, we'll establish where we're going to put the arm sticking out of the chest. Uh, the perspective here, we're going to put where the neck's going to be. And uh, her head is actually going to be about there. Make sure we got the neck connecting all right, and then the the hands. We could do something cool, you know, like a like a, a weird kind of. You see it all the time with the wizard poses and stuff, where here's the the hand. Basically, the hand will end up looking something like this. Uh, you know, where you have the fingers kind of coming up like that, and then you have the fingers wrapping down, and a thumb will stick out. You know, kind of like this here. So I'm just gonna roughly indicate that that's where I want the hand to be. Her forearm's gonna go there, and you know her shoulders probably gotta pop up that way. And then this hand, we'll probably do. Uh, we'll just stick this one out a little bit. And again, we could probably do something cool with the hands over there. And I mean, uh, she's pretty much done. You know, uh, I should probably establish again. You know, I'm gonna put the breasts in now. Usually, I'd go in and do that when I'm worrying about the anatomy, but I figure, uh, you know, I may as well hit two birds with one stone here. And, uh, you know, we'll get them in now. Uh, what I like to do is just add the circles like that. But I, for me, I don't like keeping them like that because nothing's worse than silicone-looking uh, breasts to me. They just don't look real, right? And, and I know a lot of superheroes and superheroines and stuff, they, they do that. But what I'm going to do is just to do that to, so I can see in my mind where that's going to go. Um, and, I mean, this could probably be another tutorial and another thing. But just how they actually connect to the pecs. The pecs are always still on on the females. Don't ever not give them pecs. Those chest muscles are still there. It's just they have the, the lumps of fat that actually go over top. So, again, this will be something we'll cover in the next stage, but I'm just doing it here for me here. We'll have that, and uh, I guess uh, she'll have, uh, we could give her a cape. Why not? Uh, we could actually have it maybe flare up a bit. And usually in the gesture drawings and stuff, when I do uh, capes and drapery and stuff, I usually go pretty pretty wild right off the go. Maybe we'll have some come across her like that, but that's probably a little bit harder to see. <laughs> Alright, so we're basically going to take this one, bring it to the next stage, which is basically uh, tightening up the actual uh, anatomy and the actual structure work that we're going to do before we actually tighten it up. And uh, I mean, it looks like I've got about a minute or two left, and here's the original one we had. Uh, this one, oops, sorry about that. Camera's falling apart. Uh, and here's the original one we have of the guy. Um, what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm just going to try to piece this together a little bit. Uh, see if I can fix. Cause something's not jiving with me here. Actually, kind of like what I did with the female one, with the leg kind of popped up a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, again, and this is one of the really awesome things about doing these gestures, guys. Don't ever feel like you're locked in anything. I mean, keep it light and scribbly. I'm just, I know it's pretty light on the camera, and I'm trying to go a little darker, but, you know, don't f don't feel like you got to, you know, lock yourself in. There's an eraser. That's what it's used for. Uh, you know, scribble, get some energy in here. That's the main reason why we do this, is, uh, you know, we're trying to get that energy, capture that energy. And actually, I'm just going to erase that arm. I've got a minute here, so let's see what I can do. Basically, I just want to flare this leg out. Just a bit like that. And this arm will actually, his other arm here will have in the background like this. Like he's trying to throw a fist up in the back. And maybe that gets a little bit better of a pose. But anyway, so thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, you guys can now uh, we'll try to do another video for you. Uh, I think Thursday. This Thursday it'll be up. And if not, or actually, uh, we'll try maybe doing Thursday and Friday for you guys. So I appreciate it. And uh, you guys can always check the information link that I include here because I do the the live you streaming as well. And that's every Monday and Wednesday at 10:30. I believe it's Eastern time. I always get my. Pacific and Eastern time, all that stuff, even though I know which one I'm in, I always forget what it's called, but thanks so much, check that out, and uh, you guys can, if you have any questions, always don't feel afraid to get a hold of me, and uh, you guys take care, have a wonderful week, and uh, we'll talk to you soon, bye.